Oh, hey. Carrie Rogers, PacketBomb.com here. So I built a PC. First time I built a PC since, oh, I don't know, 2002? Uh, I've been learning a lot, and frankly, I'm still learning a lot. I've been a Mac guy. Well, I was trying to get Windows 10 to connect to this old Netgear Ready NAS, you know, little NAS box that I've got. And it wasn't working. It would get an error message that was extremely generic and unhelpful. Didn't know why it was happening. So, fired up Wireshark, took a PCAP, had a look, did a little Googling, and we fixed it. You wanna know how? I'll show you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start Wireshark here. We're gonna start capturing on its ethernet interface. There it goes. We're gonna try to connect to my NAS directly to a share with media files. And I get this, cannot access, um, see details, very generic error, nothing, diagnose, nothing. So let's stop the capture. And just real quick, we'll see, this is the error code uh, here. I Googled Windows 10 error code. Um, this is a Windows report whatever website that is, I don't know. It might be a corrupt file system. Okay, I guess that is possible. Uh, but here's one from actually Microsoft.com. Permission settings, uh, you know, okay. Still, it could be who knows what. So let's go back to Wireshark. I'm going to put in the IP address, filter on the IP of my NAS. There we go. And here we go. We have uh, a TCP connection to port 445, which is the, the port that it will connect to do uh, SMB traffic. So three-way handshake, negotiate protocol requests. So with SMB, this is the first thing that happens. They need to talk to each other, they need to negotiate. Do we talk the same version, You know, the same slang, dialect, et cetera. So let's have a quick look. We're gonna, we're gonna skip the NetBIOS part. There's really not much there. Um, SMB is what we care about. So let's just look at this first. This is the negotiate protocol request, the requested dialects. So it's saying, this is what I speak. Here are the, here's the languages, the versions, whatever, the dialects. Uh, NTLM 0.12, that is an SMB1 dialect. That means SMB1. There's a bunch of versions, but this is, the, the most recent. And when I say recent, we're talking 20 plus years old, right? Then we have SMB2002. So we can do SMB2, like straight SMB2. And then SMB2 wildcard, which is SMB2.1 and later so SMB3 as well. So that's what it, it uh, supports. And we can look at the header and there's a bunch of other junk in here. Maybe we care about, maybe we don't. So we're not gonna dig into this quite yet. So now we're going to come, so then we see an act. This is just TCP doing its thing, has nothing to do with the application protocol. So we click on the protocol response, the negotiate protocol response from the NAS, right? And here is its response. Of those three options, it selected NTLM, 0.12, which I, as I said, is SMB1. So that's what it chose, SMB1. Um, a couple things here, security signatures not enabled and not required, and some other, some other items here, some capabilities, things I can do, I can do op locks, et cetera. And what does my PC do? Sends a reset, says, nope, we're not gonna talk. So does this mean my Windows box won't talk SMB1 or it won't, they're, they're not agreeing on some sort of parameters around SMB1. So if we go back to my PC, open the header, say there's, um, I mean, it says it speaks SMB1. It's right there, right here in the protocol in the requested dialects. If we open some flags, we do see that security signatures are required according to the flags, right? It's set to one. 
And then you also see security signatures are not supported. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to interpret that, to be honest with you, uh, without doing some uh, more Googling that I did not do. So it appears, I think, that we require signatures. And security signatures are something that are in SMB1 and later versions. So it's trying to at least, I believe, use security signatures. And as we know from here, they're not enabled. So we have SMB1, security signatures not enabled on my ReadyNAS Duo. And the PC said, nope, no thanks. So this is where Google comes in. Did some Googling. What did I, oh, here's my little guy. So cute, really old running the latest version from 20.17 or 20 2017 was the last time the firmware is, I mean, this thing is end of life, end of everything. Uh, but it, you know, still chugging along. I found this connecting to Netgear ReadyNAS Duo, and it appears to say you need to turn on SMB1. Well, SMB1 was in the negotiate protocol request, right? Some more Googling. It's not installed by default in Windows 10 version 1709. Well, I looked and mine's version like 1909. And yeah, so, all right. So I'm beginning to think this is an SMB1 issue. Um, it makes sense, SMB1 is ancient. It's got problems. So it probably is disabled by default, even though it seemed to be enabled in the negotiate protocol request, right? And just as a quick overview of SMB, as I said, the first thing they're gonna do, step one is the negotiation. If that fails, like they can't talk, that's the end of it. And so that's what was happening. There's other things that happen after that, but we didn't even make it there yet. So a little more, I think this one, yeah. Um, where is it? Aha, detect, enable, SMB one, two, three, et cetera. Um, I scroll down to the Windows uh, Windows 10 PowerShell method. I have a, a terminal that you need to run as an administrator. And this is really handy. Detect, copy, done. That's a nice feature of this web page. And it says disabled, right? Now I did, what was it? This one also has this, which is under control panel uh, programs and features and uh, you can click it on here. I assume this is the same, you know, this is my problem with Windows, to be honest, um, as a new as a new PC guy, I haven't used Windows in, you know, 100 years. There are 20 different ways to configure stuff, different roads into a configuration path that probably is flipping the same bits somewhere deep in the registry, but there's like a thousand ways to do it, and it's it's really annoying. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to go to the command line way because that's kind of how I roll, if you know what I'm saying. And just, just so we know, I have a Mac and I did, uh, connect to it from my windows PC. I tested that to see, let me see if it's open Mac connect. Um, continue. I don't really want that. We don't want that. Let's look at, um, yeah, port 445 and see how it is different. So negotiate protocol request, right, from my PC, same three dialects, SMB 1, 2, and 2.1 and later. We get a response from my Mac, and look, the header is already set to SMB 2. Here, the, the, the header is SMB. Now Wireshark knows this is an SMB 2 response. So the, the negotiate protocol response, we chose SMB 2 wildcard. So the, the two dot question mark, question mark, question mark. But that's not, that's not good enough, right? So now that means using this version, there's more options, more headers, more junk in the response. But because now we need, we need more clarification, we're like, okay, we both speak two dot whatever. We need to fine tune and agree on exactly which one we're going to use. So I'm gonna come back and say, oh, okay, you wanna do a two dot wildcard, well, here's all the ones that I support. 2.02, .02, not 2.002, uh, 2.1, and, and, and on. 3.0, 3.02, 3.1, et cetera. So then the Mac says, oh, okay, well, I'm going to do 3.02, which wasn't the absolute latest, 
it was the second to the last end, you know, the end. So that was like a back and forth, back and forth for SMB2, which you can see here. They do it twice. And then they go on. So I know my Windows machine, this is the first time I've tried to connect it to any kind of SMB share. So I just want to make sure it can do it. And it worked fine. So let's go back to here. I'm going to enable it, copy, and we're going to bling, bloom. We got a nice little text based progress bar. I'm going to take a sip of. Okay, now I have to reboot, <laughs> so we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Also, Windows, why can't you just put everything back the way I had it, like my Mac does? So here we are. Okay, so I've got the File Explorer, you know, the, the Windows, whatever this is, Explorer, and we already see some things under the Network tab that wasn't there before. So let's start our capture again. And... We click on network. And so under computer, we didn't have these guys before. So this is my guy. There it is. That's the one I wanted. Stop the capture. So that worked. Let's have a quick looky loo. And we have our through a handshake. Associate protocol request. Is it going to look different? Oh, look at all this other stuff. So before we only had the bottom three, right? The, the most recent version of SMB1 and these other ones. And now we've got a bunch of other old crusty SMB dialects. Great, fine. Our response, you know, we still chose, ugh, we still chose the same one. The most recent version of uh, SMB1, but this time the PC came back with the next step in the SMB dance that they do to get things started, right? And we're off and running. We're connected and it's great. So it was very simple, right? This is, we didn't get past step one for SN SMB, but now you know a few things to look at if you're also stuck at this point. Uh, it's for older. Older things like this readiness, right? That may not, as Microsoft continues to update protocols, continues to disable old things. These are the kinds of things, you know, that you, you need to be to be looking at. Um, okay, so we'll as I come across other SMB things, I'll we'll we'll dive deeper. We'll look at some of this other stuff, see what's going on, look at uh performance. It's just been a it's been a minute since I've really worried about SMB or looked at it. So as I come across opportunities to to do it, I will. Um in the meantime, uh check out my live streams. I've been doing those regularly. I got one coming up this next week. I'm going to do a deep dive into TCP performance. Um if you're watching, mean, who knows, this is a video, you're going to be watching this, who knows when next week it may have already happened. So just check my channel for the live stream stuff. If you're interested in Wireshark and I have a free mini course here on packetbomb.com, you can come right here and sign up and I'll email you that course. So uh, please leave uh, any anything in the comments about things you'd like to see in terms of packet analysis, troubleshooting, performance, etc. And we'll see you next time.